Back by popular demand, you guessed it, we're covering creatine again. But this time we're asking the question, pills or powder? I'm Katie Braun, product developer at MyProtein. By now you're well up to date with the benefits of creatine if you've been watching this channel for a while, but I thought I'd take a couple of minutes to get into the detail. Pills or powder, hmm. which one is better? Spoiler alert, the answer is neither. Or really, it's up to you and your personal preference. But don't skip the video just yet. Stick around and I'll tell you the benefits of both. Richie and I have talked extensively about it before. Creatine is one of the most popular performance enhancing supplements. Definitely not a steroid. For those looking to go the extra mile, squeeze in that extra rep or hit their personal best. To give a quick recap, creatine is a molecule found naturally in the body, composed of three amino acids, glycine, arginine, and methionine. It can be considered a backup source of energy, speeding up the process of how our bodies produce ATP, our source of energy. By supplementing creatine, you can increase the ability to convert ADP into the useful form, ATP, during exercise, meaning that energy is there when you need it. Find out more about creatine in our other videos on it. Links are in the description. But with so many different forms of the creatine supplements available on the market, you might be wondering which one is the best for you. Pills versus powder. Let the battle commence. In pill form, creatine must first be digested before it can be used by your body. As a powder, it's much more readily available and faster absorbed. And whilst that sounds convincing, does the speed of creatine digestion actually matter? In short, not really, or at least we haven't got enough conclusive evidence on the topic to confirm anything just yet. The scientific opinion suggests that because it doesn't have an immediate effect when you start taking creatine, a loading phase should be implemented, where you take three times the normal daily amount of creatine every day for two weeks to saturate your cells. From then on, you've got enough stores in your body to see the benefit in future workouts. But how quickly creatine is then absorbed into your system doesn't necessarily alter the results of your workout, as long as it's loaded consistently in your system. So in terms of how rapid digestion of pills versus powder is, it doesn't have a huge effect. But there's a pretty obvious factor to take into consideration when it comes to creatine powder. You have to fit this into your backpack. It takes a little bit of prep work and you need to have a shaker to hand. Not to mention digging for a scoop is the last thing you want to be doing in the gym changing rooms. If you're looking for a quick fix, it's probably more tempting to pop open a pot of our pills, or I like to keep them in a handy pill dispenser that you can buy anywhere with the rest of my supplements. So they're far easier to take on the go and fit effortlessly into your workout routine. If you're keeping your eye on your exact doses, pills might be helpful too. No risk of inaccurate dosing trying to gauge exactly how level is a level scoop. But on the other hand, if you're not a fan of pills or already have a couple in your daily routine, maybe you'd appreciate the versatility of powders to pop into anything from smoothies to shakes, even your porridge in the morning. Your money might stretch a little further with a powder too, averaging out to cost less per serving than pills. It might be that for you, variety is key and switching between pills to powders would be the best way to keep things interesting and sustain your creatine supplementation long term. Term. Creatine is most effective when you've built it up in your system, so being consistent with the intake is what matters, regardless of what format you're buying. So which do you prefer, pills or powders? Let us know what you've been using and how in the comments below. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the MyProtein YouTube channel for more expert guidance and evidence-based info.